Dear Lord, obviously, as creator, you can do whatever you please, but if you would be so kind, allow me to pray a sinner's prayer. Teach me to be godly through poetry. I think John, the one you loved, really knew what was up when he said the word was God. He said, your creativity spoke the universe into being. You opened your mouth, and your speech had no choice but to become reality. You exhaled poetry into the lifeless lungs of ones like me. So now, when I speak, I reach the height of humanity. When writing checks causes stress, remind me of the beauty in Matthew 6, when you promise you would provide for me like you did for the grass and the lilies. Poets know that nature is the essence of everything. No man-made king can ever be majestic like birds and trees. Ecclesiastes, all else is vanity. When I'm feeling ugly and chubby, point me in the direction of the full-breasted, heavy-set mother women who nurtured my poetic contemporaries. Surely you wrote us each down perfectly. And when I'm tired of looking at a ringless finger, remind me of the beautiful men I know and the lies their ex-wives told them. Let the verses bring me to my knees in repentance and thanksgiving. Any of those ex-wives could have been me had I been allowed to say I do without knowing who I am. Dear Jesus, Never allow the flame to die out where the fire inside me burns for the babies. Keep me crying with every teenage poet who learns how his voice can move mountains, how his bravery can cause a culture shift. Continue to move me by the stories of kids who are afraid to simply say it like it is. Keep me like you, arms open, smiling, suffering the little ones into our embraces. Matthew 19, the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. This is a sinner's prayer. May my head forever nod to the world's beat. Lord, forgive my heresy, but I don't want to be holy if it means forgetting how to relate to the streets. May the fullness of insecurity rest between these breasts until a poem is born in my heart that I truly believe. Give us all muffin tops and birthing hips. Make sure there's enough space for our souls to stretch out in our bodies. And may this finger remain ringless. Dear Jesus, Paul told the Corinthians it was better to marry than to burn with lust, but spare us the misery of a marriage born from physical immaturity. If the, men, if the main goal is sex, we are nowhere near ready for wedding rings. I am asking you to make it beautiful. I am too selfish to fall in love with the ordinary. So keep my eyes on all the genres of things that move me. Thank you for the words. I knew I couldn't do this Christian thing without poetry.